Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, people, how are you today? I'm good. Good, okay. Ready for a new class? Yes. Great. Welcome one more time. This module. Gracias a todos los que terminaron su tarea de la unidad 1. Uno. uno me ha quedado pendiente ahí. Parte. Pero ya los demás ya terminaron la opción 1. Perfecto. Ya vi que van unos adelantados. ¿Verdad? Muy bien. Eso no es problema. Pueden ir avanzando. verdad de esta esta semana que iniciamos hoy de, al final ya para el martes próximo deben de estar terminada la opción 2 y el examen de medio curso verdad y es que eh, no se atrase para ya martes Hay una 
Ya de la sección 2 y el examen. Bueno, vamos a tomar la asistencia. Mire, entramos a febrero. People. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Entramos a febrero. And Valentine is coming. Are you ready for St. Valentine? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Alison Andrea Serrano. Thank you, Chair. So, welcome. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. I'm here. Hey, Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Very good, welcome. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present, teacher. Hey, welcome. Edwin Vladimir Pérez never showed up. De hecho, bueno, a, a este nunca se presentó, le tocaba la sesión personal. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Así que si alguien quiere tomar los 10 minutos hoy al final de la clase, por alguna duda, alguna práctica, pues solo me avisan. La verdad, no hay problema. Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jennifer Guadalupe Elía. Present teacher. Okay. José Andrés Martínez. Yet. Julio César Fabián. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Juan Alexander Chávez. Present teacher. Good, welcome. Raúl Edgardo Darceño. Ricardo puede responder al menos a la asistencia. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Wow. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Okay, welcome. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present, teacher. Mil disculpas, no me sirve la cámara aún. <laughs> Vladimir Alejandro García. I'm here. Okay, welcome. William Boris Roque. I'm here. And William Rodrigo Ángel. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, Raúl, I read your message. Sure. Uh, you can respond at least for the attendance. Pues al menos para la asistencia. Responder sería bueno. Bien, nadie más ha entrado y a todos les voy cuando pase la línea. Okay, let's get started. Tonight we're going to start with unit two or section two. And the topic for this unit is ongoing activities at the workplace. 
ongoing activities at the workplace. ¿Verdad? Actividades eh, que se están ejecutando at the workplace, en el lugar de trabajo. ¿Ok? Ongoing activities at that is the title for uni. Okay, here it is. Tonight's objective is this. At the end of the class, you, I, will be able to say how frequently I do an activity in the workplace. So today we'll be talking about frequency. Vamos a estar hablando de frequency. Okay, you will be able to say how frequently you do an activity in the workplace. Poder hablar de con qué frecuencia hacen una actividad en el trabajo. We have two questions here to discuss about them. Hope it's slow tonight. How often do you check your email at work? And how often do you attend meetings? How often do you check your email at work? Let me ask some of you that question. What's going on with my computer? A little bit slow. Okay, Vladimir, how often do you check your email at work? I check my email during, uh, all day. All day, so always, you always. always check your email. Okay, very good. What about you, Carla? How often do you check your email at work? Um, I am check uh, once today. Once a day, okay. Only once a day, perfect. What about Jennifer? How often do you check your email at work? I check my email daily. Daily, perfect. Hey, and the second question says, how often do you attend meeting? What about Omar? How often do you attend meetings, Omar? I all day, all daily. Yeah, every day? Yes. Every day, okay. And Daniel, Daniel Ernesto, how often do you attend meetings? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Sorry. Uh, frequently uh, attend meeting uh, holidays at 7.13 a.m. Wow. wow, okay. Every day at 7.13 a.m. Very good. And Alison, how often do you attend meetings, Alison? I, I attend meeting in 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Es que aquí, yo lo hago como que aquí. Ah, but. Okay, so you talk about the class. This is your uh -huh. meeting. Yes. Okay. And what about you, Salvador? How often do you attend meetings? Uh, I attend meetings. Meeting. <laughs> um, once a day. Once a day. Okay, pretty good. So you see, 
we are going to talk about frequency of some activities. We have a, a conversation here between John and Anne. Okay, I'm going to read the conversation. Oh, let me mute your microphones for a moment. And I'm going to record the conversation in WhatsApp for you. Let me. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, now you have the audio in WhatsApp. Let me read it one more time. Pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. Let me respond here to that. We have two listeners today. Now, let's practice. Repeat after me, please. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Every two hours. You? Every, every two hours, hours and you every two hours and you well i try to check it as often as i can and how often do you call your clients well i, well, I, I try, try to check it as often as, 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 as i can and how often do you call your clients do you call your clients I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? I often I call, them them call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Yes, yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. Right. You are right. Okay. Now I am John and you are Anne. Okay. I begin. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. Every and two you? Hours and you? You? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call, I often call, call, call them on Monday, Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. You are right. 
Okay, very good. Now let's switch. You are John and I am Anne. You begin. One, two, three. How often do you How check your email? You check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, 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 I check well, it as well, often as I can. And how how often, often do you call your client? How often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. 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 I always call them every day in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay. Very good. Um, pay attention to this pronunciation. Okay. Let me mute your mic. Okay, this word of fan of fan. This it is okay if you say of, but it's common in speaking English to say often. That is the T letter T is silent. Okay, the pronunciation is often. How often? Often, okay, often. Um, else, basically that. Okay, I want to let you know. Okay, now um, I want you to practice this conversation. I'm going to send you to work in pairs. A trabajar en parejas to practice the conversation and to complete or to respond these two questions according to the conversation. Often does Anne check her email? And the second question, why is it important to check the email every day? Question one, how often does Anne check her email? And question two, why is it important to check the email every day? Okay, so in pairs, you're going to work to respond to these questions and to practice the conversation. Let me okay. Let me share the conversation and the question. What's that? Who, who, who more? Okay, there you have the conversation and exercise three. Let me form the group. Yeah. 
solo dos me han dicho que están yo y él. Beatriz y Raúl, a trabajar. Y ahí todos los demás están listos para practicar. Yes. ¿Hay alguien, alguien más que esté solo de oyente? No, no. Hemos venido aquí a practicar. Ok. Entonces he dejado a los dos que están de oyentes juntos para que ahí está. Ok, go to your group, practice the conversation and respond the questions on exercise three. See you in 10 minutes, okay? Mauricio está esperando a tu compañero para trabajar. Tú no me has notificado que estás de oyente. Entonces, con, en, en, y por hecho que tú estás para trabajar. Sí, Mauricio. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it. Oh. So Hello. La voy a enviar a otro grupo porque la persona que está acá no Ok.
Okay, welcome back. We are going to hear your pronunciation, okay? Okay. Okay, let's start with Gilberto and William, please. Gilberto and William Rodrigo. Oh, let me share the screen to end the conversation. Empiezo, don William. Bueno. Okay. Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can and how often you call your client. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always can call them fielding in the morning, I believe. It is important to have contact with them all the, all the time. You're right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Carlos and Vladimir, please. Hi. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it, it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call team first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Julio Cesar and Salvador. Okay, thank you. Salvador, yo comienzo. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Will I try to check it as often as I can, and how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week in Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I will call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact while hang out the time. You're right. Good. Thank you. Now, please, Edwin and Omar. Okay. Inicias, Omar. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as uh, often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but you, I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the all the time. You are right. Okay, very good. <clears throat> now let's continue with Carla and Daniel. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? 
Yeah. I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on the free day to check hey they other to your call clients. Yes, I will call them first thing on the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, um, Alison, Andrea, and Hini. How often do you check your email? Oh. Virginia. Perdón. Um, every two or and you. Well, I try to check it as a well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? As often cartoon on my usual counting on Frida. She they all don't you call client on the client. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact while thing at the time. You're all right. Okay, thank you. Now, um, Noe and Jennifer. Okay. Comienza yo, Jennifer. Sí. How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you. Well, I try to check it as often uh, as I can. Uh, how often do you call, call your clients? I often call the ones I wait on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to share the order. Do you call Kent? Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, very good. Well, let's I will get back on your pronunciation. First thing is this word. Ya la mencionamos, pero todavía sigo escuchando. Me dicen email. O if I'm not distressed, this on the first letter, email, my email. Okay, how often do you check your email? Email. Email. Okay. Email. Yes. Email. Email. Then the other word, yeah. This no es clients, client, client. Call client. How often do you call your clients? Clients. Ah, clients. 
other word is this. Try. Try. No es three, es try. I try to check it as often as I can. I try. Okay. The other is this. Check it. So, va unido. Check it. I try to check it. Vamos a encontrar muchas veces esta combinación. Una vez va a ser check it. Otra puede ser take it. Después puede ser get it. Otra vez es Hit it, hit it, o oh, cualquier otro verbo también. Drink it, ese it, the un, okay. Well, I try to check it, no, I try to check. I try to check it as often as I can. Well, another word is this. Call. No es cal, no es coy, es call. 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 Perdón, teacher. Check it. ¿Qué era lo que significaba en sí esa conjugación de palabras en sí? Vaya. Aquí la pregunta, están hablando del email. Entonces dice, yo trato de revisarlo, crearlo, ¿verdad? Check it. Ese it está haciendo referencia a lo que le está preguntando al email. Entonces, ese it. ¿no? Ok, gracias por aclarar. Eh, por ahí alguien me dijo, free die. Oh, it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Okay. Be careful. Friday. Um, y esta palabrita, ¿verdad? la mayoría dijo important. Important. Y en, um, usualmente en sobre todo en American English, ¿verdad? La A es silenciosa aquí. La A no suena. La pronunciación queda important. Important. Así como un sonido gutural. Con la garganta. La A. Important. I believe it is important. Important. ¿Ya? Quiero mencionarles algunas palabritas ahí. Eh, la mayoría, yo, re, yo voy marcando acá más o menos cuántos cometen. Eh, ¿Cuántas veces una palabra es, es mal dicha? ¿Verdad? Y la más común fue en este caso clients. ¿Verdad? Try. Eh, y no son todos, no son muchos. Ya, la mayoría lo está haciendo bastante bien. Para los que sienten que tienen dificultad en la pronunciación, la solución es escuchar, 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 escuchar. Por eso les dejo grabado el audio, ¿verdad? Para que después ustedes vayan escuchando, escuchando, escuchando. Es la única manera de que se les quede grabado una pronunciación dentro la entonación escuchar 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 tienen que llegar hasta aprendérsela de memoria la verdad de tanto escuchar importa pueden escuchar cientos de veces en un día de otra forma ¿Eh? así es por hacer escuchar escuchar escuchar
Yo igual les recomiendo a uh, su website. Alguien ya que se lo recomendé acá, creo. Es este website. Así. Triple L. I L L L O. Punto org. Ilo dot org. Ahí van a encontrar cientos de conversaciones cortas, cientos, clasificadas por nivel. Estudiante, medio, avanzado. ¿Verdad? Eh, gente real, no son diferentes clases, no son entrevista real. Eh, una entrevista de, de dos minutos, cinco minutos. Escuchen, escuchen, escuchen. Ah, pueden leer después las conversaciones, escuchar, leer, leer. Hay alguno que otro ejercicio de comprensión, de gramática. Pero lo que me importa más es que escuchen, escuchen, escuchen. No sirve mucho en esta etapa que se van a ver películas, que se van a ver programas, que se van a oír música, porque eso va muy rápido, se usa vocabulario que no conoce, se usan dichos, verdad, calinche en las películas, no se entiende van a frustrar. Entonces, eh, son cosas como esta. Quieren ver programas en inglés, vean caricaturas, cosas infantiles, en donde se habla claro. Hay muchos dichos, mucho calidad. Depende de qué cartoons. Se ponen a ver los Simpsons, es otra onda. Cosas infantiles reales. Uh, si quieren aprender música, yo les recomiendo que escuchen covers en Hilo Bossa Nova. Porque ahí van a escuchar la música tranquila, pausada la pronunciación, canciones populares. En su oído se tiene que familiarizar. ¿Okay? Poco le van a ir añadiendo velocidad poco complicidad. A este nivel, cosa básica. ¿De acuerdo? A medida que ustedes escuchen y entiendan lo que escuchan, van a, a, a repetirlo de igual manera. Para va a mejorar su pronunciación. ¿Ok? Ok. Any question with the conversation? Que me no, ahí es a tu gusto, Alison. ¿Verdad? Ahí es a tu gusto. ¿Verdad? Teacher, teacher, usted me corregirá, pero también me habían este, comentado que escuchar música, es, no sé si se pronuncia los virus, es más lenta la pronunciación. Sí, de, incluso, sí. incluso, eh, en este ritmo ustedes busquen en YouTube Cosa Nova Covers y en ese ritmo van a encontrar hasta las canciones de, 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 de rock ¿verdad? pero en un estilo Cosa Nova es como un jazz suavecito, tranquilo música como la que suena en las cafeterías tranquilas eh, y la pronunciación va pa' porque es a él. ¿Ya? Entonces sí, puede ser, hay de los Beatles, hay de Ava, hay de Dell, hay de, de, de lo que quieran. Ustedes se encuentran covers, ¿verdad? El artista. Tú, eh, y hay canciones individuales o en Spotify, creo también. Pueden ver hasta la letra. Eh, que agarren una canción hasta que se la aprendan. ¿Verdad? Tengo una canción. 
esa misma canción, denle todo el día, toda la semana, se la van a aprender. Entonces eso va a ayudarles a mejorar. Listening is su pronunciation. ¿Ok? Ok. Any, any other question? Ok. No. Ok. Very good. Let's continue. Uh, okay, we had two questions here about the conversation. Uh -huh. So, how often does Anne check her email? What is the answer to this? How often does Anne check her email? What is the answer? He oh. checked. He checked uh -huh. her email. Her email? Every two hours. Ah, every two. That's correct, people? Yes. Yes. He checks her email every two hours. Okay. Now, number two, this is personal, right? I want you to write your answer in the chat, please. Here in Zoom, in the chat, I want you to write your answer. Why is it important to check the email every day? Okay, I want to see your answer. Okay. Write your right. answers, please, in the chat. Okay. Only one student? Okay. Oh, we can send the receipt. Every. Edwin. Uh -huh. yeah. Más que más, vamos. Díganme, respóndanme. Okay. Yeah, but the question is why? Por qué? Is it, is it important? Okay. Okay, very good. So I put ver the different the different answer. Okay. Perfect. Now let's take a look to this uh, grammar because you see in the conversation we have this this uh, uh, word example. I often call them, I usually call them, always call them, okay, often, usually, always, so son, uh, These words express 
frequency. We use these words to express frequency. So these are called frequency adverbs. These words we use to express frequency are frequency adverbs. We use frequency adverbs to say how often an activity happens. Okay? To talk about the frequency of an activity, we use frequency adverbs. Some frequency adverbs are base, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. Okay. Y aquí se nos muestra el porcentaje estimado de frecuencia que representa cada uno de estos. Other. Okay. So, always representa un 100% de frecuencia. Es decir, siempre. Always is siempre. El 100% de las veces. Always. I always get up at five o'clock. Always. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Always. Every day. Always. Oh. Usually. Usually es un poco menos frecuente que always. ¿Verdad? Usually. Usually drives to work. Usually. ¿Ah? Un pequeño porcentaje de veces que, que no. Pero usually. Normally. Menos frecuente. He normally checks her email. Often. Iba disminuyendo en frecuencia. ¿ven? I often have breakfast at work. Sometimes. Sometimes is en la mitad. That's 50 y 50. He sometimes uses the microwave. Occasionally. He occasionally work over time. Seldom. Es poca veces, extraña vez. We seldom take calls at work. Rara vez. Uh, <clears throat> seldom. Hardly ever or rarely. He rarely has conference. Casi nunca, raramente, rarely or hardly ever. He never is zero. Never. I never get late to work. Never. Okay? Okay. Now, let's practice the pronunciation of this. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> Voy a cerrar los micrófonos. Voy a grabar la pronunciación de los adverbs y de los ejemplos. ¿okay? Para que luego lo puedan escribir. Y luego lo practicamos. Let me see. Frequency adverbs. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, 
Rarely. Never. Examples. I always get up at five o'clock. He usually drives to work. She normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. Okay, ahí les queda para practicar. Now, repeat after me, please. Always. 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 I always get up at five o'clock. I always, I always, get, always up get up at, at five o'clock. Usually. Usually. He usually drives to work. He usually drives to work. To work. To work. Normally. 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 She normally checks her email. She normally checks her email. Normally checks her email. Often. 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 I often have breakfast at work. I often have breakfast at work. Sometimes. 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 She sometimes uses the microwave. She sometimes uses the microwave. Occasionally. 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 I occasionally work overtime. I occasionally work overtime. Seldom. 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 We seldom take calls at work. We Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Rarely. 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 He rarely has conferences. He rarely has, 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 has conferences. Never. 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 I never get late to work. I, I never, never get late to work. work. Okay. Any question, people? No. Now, I want to show you something, or I want to ask you something. Okay, look at this. Get up. Let me... <laughs> Drives. 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 Checks. 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 How. How. How uses uses work work or work. Day. take day. 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 has 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 get get ¿Qué son esos verbos verbos ah verbos ¿Y en qué posición está el adverbio de frecuente? Antes del verbo. Exactly. The frequency adverbs come before the verb. Ok. El adverbio de frecuencia va antes del verbo. Porque está... Diciéndonos la frecuencia de la acción. ¿Okay? Y vean que va conjugado de acuerdo al 
sujeto que están el pronombre. Si usamos I, el verbo va en su forma pasiva. I always get up. Pero si usamos he, he usually drives. She, she normally checks. She, she sometimes uses. He, he rarely acts. ¿Ven? Usualmente cuando hablamos de la frecuencia de una actividad, estamos usando el simple press. Y vamos a conjugar de esa manera. ¿Ok? Bien. Is it clear? I hope so. Now, uh, I think we have an exercise here. Let me raise. Okay, now uh, I want you to write sentences about your activities at work using the frequency adverb given, uh, el que se les da. Van a hablarme de actividades. In a regular week at work. Tu trabajo. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, déjenme ponerles algún ejemplo. I always teach English at 8 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Often. Well, I often um, work on Saturdays. Sometimes I sometimes a uh, What can I say? Uh, what read a book in English? I hardly ever. Mm, Watch uh, I don't know horror movies. Uh, I don't know in class. I never speak French in class. Por ejemplo, ¿ok? This is about me, activities I do at work. Now I want you to write sentences about you. ¿Ok? Voy a dejar esto de ejemplo. ¿Verdad? Para que ustedes hagan su parte. Oh, what's up? What's up? Here is. Bueno, y le dejo. Okay, work individually, please. When you finish, raise your virtual hand.
Hello, people. Hello, teacher. Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five, six hands up. Those six manos are viva. Me pregunto, ¿me escuchan bien? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, very good. de audífono. Estos buenísimos. Les pongo. Esas es. Okay. Vamos los demás. Mm -hmm. One more. Okay. Voy a enviarlos a trabajar en grupo para que compartan sus oraciones. Okay. So in the group, please share your sentences, talk about your activities, and practice your English, okay? Your Spanish is perfect. You, you don't need to practice your Spanish. No, no necesita practicar tu español. You need to practice your English, okay? So read your sentences in English. Practice your aim. Go to your groups, please, and see you in a moment.
hardly ever I hardly ever take my breakfast on my workplace. Podría ser. Y lo que algo que nunca haga. Ay, ese está bien difícil, por eso no le he hecho y ustedes que pusieron. Yo nunca duermo en el trabajo. I never. Está editando eso. Como veo que ustedes utilizaron esos verbos, yo lo estoy utilizando, eh, editando. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Eh, uh -huh. Carla. Entonces, a ver, Carla. Ok, ahorita. Eh, I check my email. Eh, perdón. I often check my email. Eh, I never attend me. Ajá. Do o puede ser make también. Oh, make. 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 I often, I often, make. Entonces, I often make. make. Ajá, sí. I often make invoice. Uh -huh. Yes. Sí. Um, I often go to the church on Sunday. I often go to the church. On Sundays. Go, o como, I often. Go. Sí, verdad. Ah, no, sí. sí, está bien. Go. Uh -huh. Sí, go. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Vaya, yo le puse, I sometimes go to Sonsonate. <ríe> bien. Yo, eh, I sometimes drink soda at work. I am never in one word, are you? ¿En español? Nunca estoy en una sola hora de trabajo. Entonces, I never deliver product. Vaya, entonces la repasamos otra vez. Ven. Ven la, voy a la voy a repetir. I always check container stock in depot of port. Segunda, I often drink a coffee at work. Tercera, I sometimes use calculator. La cuarta, I hardly even work overtime. Y la última, I never rest at work.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, I would like to hear some of your sentence. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's start with activities you always do. Okay, you think always. Read me your sentences with always. Okay, volunteer. Okay, Vladimir. I, I always drink my coffee before the work. Okay, that's excellent. Good habit. Okay. Okay, Vladimir, pass the ball. Pass the la pelota. Um, Daniel Ernesto. Okay. I often serve a client in the company. Okay, good. Pass the ball, please. Pero ahorita quiero que usemos solo always. Oraciones como always. Oh, sorry. I always arrive early to work. Okay, perfect. Pass the ball. Rosalina. Rosalina. I always clean the house. Oh, good girl, good girl. Okay, pass the ball, Rosalina. Um, veamos. Edwin Mauri Mauricio. Mm, Edwin. I always get up at 4 a.m. Oh, really? Too early. Okay. And, and sometimes 3 a.m. <laughs> Sorry for you. Okay, pass the ball, Edwin. Okay. Alison Andrea. Okay. I always drink my coffee at three o'clock. Hey, very good. Pass the ball, Alison. Eric Mauricio. Hey, Eric. <clears throat> okay. Uh, how I have food in the morning to air horses. Okay, good. Pass the ball, Eric. Um, Jonathan, Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Okay. okay. I always check my emails every day. Okay, very good. Pass the ball. Okay. Um, Carla? Carla? Okay. I often check my email. Okay, pass the ball. Uh, <laughs> Vladimir. Vladimir. Eh, yo ya pasé. Daniel. Daniel. Pueblo te aclama. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I often eat vegetable. Okay. How's the ball? Um... Julio César. Okay. Okay. Um, I always get up at 9 a.m. Okay. Pass the ball. Um, um, no, eh? Okay. I always try to work. Good. Continue. Pass the ball. Jennifer. Okay. I always go to work at seat ferry. Okay, good. Continue, Jennifer. Pass the ball. Um, 
Gilberto. Gilberto. I'll always call every day the client. Okay. Continue, Gilberto. How's the ball? Omar. Omar. I always brush my teeth at morning. Okay. Continue, Omar. Salvador. Salvador. Okay, I always check container stock in depot of port. Okay, continue, pass the ball. Or pass the ball. Uh, sorry. Um... Jose Andrés. Jose Andrés solo está de oyente hoy. Ah, perdón. Y también Raúl. Ok. Si se repite, no hay problema. Todos quieren participar, dice. <risa> eh, William Rodríguez. Ok, William Rodrigo. I always drink coffee in the morning. Hey, pass the ball. Um, Virginia. Virginia. Uh, I often eat meeting on Saturday. Okay, good. Pass the ball, Virginia. Um, Eric. Eric. Um, I also study on the weekend. Ah, okay. That's it. Um, ahorita. Alison, Andrea. I often make invoice. You often make? Invoice. Invoice. Ah, okay. Invoice. <laughs> good, very good. Hey, keep going. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, That's a lot. Um, no, I Gustavo. Hey, no, eh? Uh, I often call cli clients. Okay, good. Continue. I want I want sentences now with never. Never. Saul Montoya. Saul Montoya. <laughs> ah, okay. I never. Um, what drink beer at work? No, ni tampoco fuera del trabajo. I never drink beer. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, let's hear now, Gilberto. Never. I never deliver products. Okay, good. A ver, rapidito, Carlos. Jonathan. Bueno. Sí, I never was time on my project. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, Rosalina. I never show my feeling when I am angry. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Jennifer. I never eat one word area. Okay. Omar. I never go to the gym at morning. Okay. Edwin. 
I never sleep at work. Uh -huh. Vladimir. I never watch series. Really? Yeah. Uh, Game of Thrones. I don't like it. Uh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> more or less, more or less. Okay, Daniel. I never work on Sunday afternoons. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Julio. Yes, teacher. Never. I never fall asleep at a war. Okay, good. Uh, Salvador, never. I never rest at work. Oh, hey, hard working guy. Okay. Hey, let's see, Omar. No, Omar ya pasó, creo. Um, William, William Rodrigo. I never I... drink coffee. Oh, no, man, this big out. Carla, where are you, Carla? I don't see you. I, ne I never attend meeting. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, very good, people. So, this is the way we talk about the frequency of activity. Okay. Do you have any question with this? Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, very good, nice. Uh, let's take the last attendance of the evening, okay? Alison, Andrea, Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Carla, Yasmin, Rivera. Present. Perfect. Carlos, Jonathan, Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Good night, everyone. Okay. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present, teacher. Okay. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present, teacher. Okay. Humberto Benito Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Good night. Right. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Present, teacher. Okay. Andrés Martínez, Julio César Fabián, present teacher, good night, okay. Gustavo Núñez, present teacher, good night, okay. Alexander Pérez, Mar Alexander Chávez, present teacher, okay. Raúl Edgardo Seño. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher, see you tomorrow. Okay. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present, good night. Okay. del Carmen. Yes. Present teacher, good night. Okay. Alejandro García. Present, good night. Okay, William Boris Roque. Present teacher, good night. Okay, and William Rodrigo Ann. Present teacher. Okay, people, that's all for today. Vemos mañana. Okay. Si alguien se quiere quedar, por los diez minutos, no hay problema. <laughs>
no. Bye bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, bye. everyone. Thank <laughs> you.